hockey lovers, it's hard to think of anything better than having your own sheet of ice right outside your back door all winter long. Welcome to Gotta Love Connecticut Hockey. I'm your host, Ashley Audet, and in this special edition, we are exploring two Connecticut hockey rinks selected by our viewers as finalists in our eighth annual Backyard Rink Contest. For these families, a backyard rink means great times, skill improvements, and now for the winners, it will mean bragging rights and a West Coast Sports Center gift card, so let's go check them out. The best part of having a backyard rink is the access. Just stepping outside of your kitchen and onto the ice. I could come home after work or on a Saturday morning and go out there and skate for hours. This is our second year building the rink. Uh, it's actually Luke's first year playing hockey, so last year he spent the year learning to skate here. We've been putting the rink together for about six or seven years because basically when you have three boys, you got to keep them busy outside. We started to put the rink up usually around Christmas. That's usually when it gets cold enough that we can freeze the ice. Both years we did it right after Thanksgiving. It usually takes a weekend and it's up and going and then the rest is up to the weather. We use basically lumber, two by 12s. Then we use a tarp and we have some lights on each corner. And then we added some netting this year as the shots are getting a little bit harder. So the rink, uh, over the years, we've put together with basically plywood and materials that we've had around the house. And then over time, we started to add details like the yellow boards at the bottom to make it look more authentic. What makes the rink so unique is that we've actually had the structure here. We have a sports court that we turn into an outdoor hockey rink. So it's easy to put it together and keep it structurally sound. Our rink is a little unique in that we, from time to time, add a projection unit. If there's a big sporting event or a hockey game, the kids don't necessarily have to stay inside and watch. They can actually come out here and we can project it onto the house. We also have an Alexa enabled, so our lighting system doesn't necessarily require us to plug the lights in or out. And then lastly, as Luke's pointing out, we added a logo, jerseys, and uh, some vinyl for the name of the rink, Aspen Rink. When I put on this jersey, I think it's really cool and to be able to have this, it's a, it's a pleasure and uh, it's a privilege too. We have our own Zamboni that makes it unique too. When my dad maintains the rink, I have to help him with the uh, hose and the Zamboni. Maintaining the rink can be a challenge. We do have a hot water supply, which makes it a little bit easier. If uh, the weather gets a little finicky, we can always recover. So the Zamboni came about after a couple years of just spraying water on the ice. We thought it would be fun to actually have a mini Zamboni. So we took a ride-on mower and stripped it apart, then wrapped it up in plywood, put in a little 30-gallon hot water tank on it, scraper and it works great. It makes the ice like glass when we're done with it. Something we would do to improve the rink is make it larger because you know we're getting bigger now and we're getting faster. Skills are getting better so I think making it bigger is probably the, the biggest part. As a coach having a backyard rink from a player's perspective gives them such a wonderful advantage because I watch the skills in their skating ability when they come to regular practices and come to regular games and watching them succeed leaps and bounds over kids that don't have this opportunity is just incredible to watch. Garrett, who's my middle one, is really the big skater. He played for the Sharks. Garrett's game definitely improved by having a backyard rink because we could get out here and skate in short little spurts. The rink is 60 by 30, so because it's so small, we could really work on our short game, our passes, and he would get out here as much as he could and skate. Since, you know, it's my first year, last year I really learned how to skate on this thing, and over, I usually went on it every day last year, and it helped me get better with my skating and my puck control and my shot. Learning hockey, learning to skate, learning to stick handle, putting all of those things together is a really difficult concept for a lot of kids to learn and to be able to put those all together really takes the repetition. And having something like this in your backyard where you can come after school, you can come at night, when you can come after practices and relearn some of the things that we're enforcing on the ice is really just giving him such a tremendous advantage. So why do I think this year's rink contest should be won by the Walter family? Well, we've been doing it for so long and everybody in the area between the neighbors and the local hockey community are very familiar with the rink and I think everybody really enjoys it and they enjoy riding the Zamboni. I think, to be honest, our rink is very unique. We have our own Zamboni, our own vinyl and our own shirts. I think we could be a winner. 
Each of these rinks have their own special touches that helped earn them a spot as a finalist in this year's contest. The Kennedy Family Rink has brought a new skater up to full speed in no time and a custom logo with vinyl means he and his friends can skate together with pride. For the Waldner family, this sport court turned rink draws the whole local hockey community in and a riding Zamboni turns ice maintenance into everyone's favorite job. Everyone who entered this year's contest poured their heart and soul into the rinks, but there can only be one winner and our eighth annual Backyard Rink Contest winner is the Kennedy family from Summers. Go!